What's going on guys, welcome back to Car Garage. Today is a different video, not as usually the Audi stuff and uh, other cars racing, but uh, today's video is about a 2011 uh, Dodge Ram 5500. It's a uh, 6.7 Cummins and um, this is my personal car, actually it's for my business. And I have a problem with uh, the grid heater. Uh, I got a check engine that is the uh, P2609. I've been doing some researches and that's about the grid heater and because it's cold right now winter time this is failing and uh, i've did a lot of research and uh, people doing a, a grid heater delete uh or turn it off for now because there is um apparently there is a knot or a bolt that it's it gets loose and goes inside the engine and that can be a catastrophic failure of the engine i don't know blow up the engine or something but usually when a piece of metal goes inside the engine what's happening the engine gets bad or even worse so um, i did some research and i'm gonna disconnect uh, the power that goes to that uh, um, grid here and um, i'll take you guys along on it with me i'm not gonna try to take much of your time guys as i try to do a short video on it and uh, we're gonna go open the hood and uh, see what's going on but this is um, the code that shows me as you guys see i put the ignition on and i have this let's go ahead and scan it yeah p2609 air uh, intake air heat system performance and um that it says that it's four codes and the other one all, all all four are the same for the same code so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go open the hood and i'll take you guys along with me and uh, try to uh, get rid of this uh, um, maybe check engine we'll see how it goes because some people say that uh, you, you take care of the check engine too but we'll go see all right so there we have it 6.7 comments um, so this is the grid here I don't know if you guys can see that are the bolt connected and we're gonna go see on this side the battery that it's uh, this side battery the power that goes from the battery goes to that um, it goes to that that one right there and we're going to disconnect one of the wires so we don't give power to the grid heater anymore all right guys so i got a light so i can show you better uh that's the relay right there as you see the positive cables go from the passenger side battery goes right there to that relay and then the switched cable goes all the way through here if you follow it goes uh, to the grid heater which let me see it's this one right there not sure if i can show you it's that one right there so what i'm gonna do is i got a 13 millimeter um wrench and i'm gonna take the switched cable from the relay disconnected i'm gonna tie down here with some tape electrical tape so it doesn't hang around uh, to touch maybe the alternator or something and i'm gonna delete the check engine and we'll go from there all right guys so i disconnected it let's see there's the relay the wire is disconnected uh, i taped it and i put it here for now just temporarily because i don't have any zip ties with me so i'm gonna go get some zip ties and uh, tie it down somewhere so it doesn't uh, get loose and goes to the belt or something also i'm gonna buy a filter because the filter it's uh, it's already dirty so i have to replace that but uh this one is here the switched side uh, of the grid heater now we're gonna go inside the cabin delete the check engine and start the car because this car uh we can start without waiting the waiting lamp start so there we go let's connect this uh, a switch we need the key all right let's see what the scanner says okay 2011 yes all right, we go to delete it. Yes. This race was successful. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, as it's manual, clutch in, key ignition on, started. 
All right, the car started. There is no check engine. Uh, before the check engine used to pop right away. Now the car is on. It's 38 outside, but the car started. So uh, that's uh, how I disconnected my grid heater. I'm thinking on deleting it. I don't know yet if that's a good idea or not, but uh, I've read a, a lot of posts that people delete those things. So I might as well just order the delete kit and um, delete it. And if I do that, I'll, I'll take you guys along with me and show you all the process. Uh, and I'm gonna be driving this car and see in the future when I start the car if the check engine pops on, but right now no check engine so far, so we should be good. Um, I tried to do this video as short as I could, but uh, I know you guys understand me and if I have some errors because if this is my first thing that I do, I'm doing to my Dodge Ram 5500, uh, 6.7 Cummins. Uh, not that long ago I just stopped working it, I bought it and I started working with it. It's a tow truck as you guys can see. Flatbed tow truck, so 6 speed transmission. If you guys want me to do more videos about it, like how I drive it, how I load cars on load, just let me know. Uh, uh, maybe not all of you guys want it, but some of you. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to do that. So uh, stay tuned for more videos. Please uh, share this video if you liked it and subscribe for more. As uh, always, looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.